Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see a Fornex loop in Google Apps Script. So this Fornex loop uh, works similar to other uh, Fornex loops uh, in other programming languages like uh, Java, VB.NET and Python. So basically this is a syntax of uh, a Fornex loop in Google Apps Script. A Fornex loop uh, accept three argument. First argument is an initialization and in this first argument you have to uh, set a counter variable and define a value to it and in the second argument condition you have to set a condition uh, like uh, if you define a variable let's say a variable i and initialize with the value 1 then you should set a condition that the variable i should not exceed 10 or it should not exceed 20 or it should not uh, uh, it, it should be greater than or equal to 20 like that you have to define a condition in the second argument and the next one is an increment operator here you should define uh, after each iteration how many times the counter variable should be incremented so if you uh, just mention uh, i plus plus then it should uh, it will increment and one time if you want to increment by two time let's say uh, i plus two so if you define like that it will be it will increment two times after each iteration so that uh, will be controlled in the third argument and what is the instruction which you need to be repeated uh, in this follow that you have to provide inside this curly braces so this is a basic overview of a for loop in Google Apps Script. So let's uh, see that in a Google Apps Script. So I have opened a new Google Sheets and if you go to Tools and Script Editor, new Script Editor window will be open like this. Just change the function name to for next. Once you have done that, open mm, just to create an open and closed curly braces. Uh, now I'm going to print a number from 1 to 10 using a for loop so f uh, I have created a for loop and, and I defined a variable i and the value of initialized value of variable is 1 and I want to print that for 10 times so it should be lesser than 11 and I want that variable to be incremented only one time after I each iteration so I I'm just mentioning I plus plus so that's it I have created a for loop now I have created a curly braces so whatever the instruction that you are going to provide in this curly braces that will be executed for the condition which you have mentioned in the for loop arg uh, arguments so let's say log dot log I want to print number 1 to 10 so I can define I can make use of the counter variable and I'm giving an I so I have terminated it with a semicolon that's it once you have done that go to file save save the core and execute the code so now the core is successfully executed go to view locks and see that here you can see uh, it print the value from 1 to 10 as we have uh, given in this uh, for loop so if you want to know uh, different functionalities of the for loop and uh, uh, a better description about this for loop please do check out my blog post which is you can see that in the YouTube description thank you for watching this video please subscribe